Hi friends. In the last lecture, we have covered literals. So, so now moving to the next section, delmitus. Um, a PL SQL program is made up of a series of declarations and the statements. So these are defined logically, and uh, in other words, I would say they they are not terminated with the physical end of lines of code. Instead, they are terminated with the semicolon so this is the delmiter we use to terminate the statement in the pl sql a one single statement is often spread over the several lines to make it uh, more readable so we in the pl sql we write the code to make it a, in the readable form we'll spread that code in the uh, number of lines that could be written in single line also but we spread it in number of lines to make it in, uh, readable uh, every time it's not you who are going to see your codes if somebody else want to see the code it should be in the readable form so that somebody else could also understand that what you have done in your coding part so for uh, making it more readable we make it we write it in number of lines and um, there let's write some code to understand that how we uh, terminate the statements so i'll write a pl sql block here so begin start of the statement if uh, let's take any column dummy column uh, last updated date is less than sys date minus 10 so if the last updated date is not between uh, is le it is it would be less than this date minus 10 it's uh, less than 10 days before then uh, update the less then update so uh, then make it a last update date assign it the sys date so one code i've ended here then end if then again the delmiter so this is one code if end if uh, let's give write it like this then the end statement then the third delmiter so in the above all code we have used three delmiters one here for this then for end if then end so the first semicolon indicates that the that this if statement is terminated here and uh, uh, the this is the single executed statement the not the if the single executed statement is ended here so and uh, the second one indicates that the end if is terminated here so if then end if uh, this whole block is ended here uh, for by writing this semicolon uh, i'll add one more condition here else if else if so if it is not then uh, null so if the condition is not true then it will not do anything so uh, this is the whole block if block so when this term this statement we write uh, when this delmiter uh, comes then this whole block is terminated and uh, so here uh, once the single statement is terminated but in this second line uh, sixth line the second one is terminated and here the whole if block is terminated and here the whole begin block is terminated so i hope you are clear with this uh, that how what is the usage of every single code in this in the pl sql we can write it uh, the code in the another way also we have write it in nine lines eight lines so we can write it in another way by removing the space or spaces also as this code 
is by making it a single terminated else if so now you can see on the line nine line code changed into the five line code uh, the one statement last updated date then this is terminated over here then else if then null then end if is here so we can write it in this way also and uh, but for making it more readable form we write it in this way so that some other person could understand that what you have written in the in this form so in this section we have covered the del mitres we use all these things identifiers literals del mitres in our further code and uh, so the semicolon are needed to terminate the each logical executable statement even if they are nested with each other so this is the about the del mitres in the next section we'll come uh, cover the comments Thanks.